The Cabbage Patch may be empty, but the shelves of local stores are full of other dolls. <coughs> there are dolls that cry and dolls that just sleep, movie star dolls and presidential dolls. And whether the doll is big or small, they are this year's hot seller. Has there been an upswing in the doll market this year? Definitely. It was good last year, but it's really gone crazy this year. And while Barbie and G.I. Joe are doing better than ever, the talk on the aisles is still of the longed-for Cabbage Patch doll. TV 12 found one lucky person who already has one, WDEF radio personality Luther Massengale. How did you manage to get a Cabbage Patch doll? Well, it wasn't easy, I'll tell you. I was talking to one of my radio sponsors one day, and the subject of these dolls came up and I said that's all I need I said it just like that and the fellow took me seriously he was in Atlanta and he found one and he bought it and he brought it back to me it was what do you like best about your cabbage patch doll Luther well it smells good it's it's an ugly little critter I'll tell you but unlike Luther you probably won't get a cabbage patch doll for Christmas all the Chattanooga stores we check with are completely out of them but the message here is that there is life beyond the cabbage patch. But if your children won't settle for, let's say, a Barbie doll, store owners say they should have plenty of the cabbage patch dolls after Christmas. The trouble is, by then, your children will probably want something else. Esme Murphy, TV 12, Tri-State Report.